Ah, CNN. What used to be the first source for most people's news has really fallen by the wayside in the last couple of years. Um, being 32 myself, I don't know very many friends that still use CNN as a main source of their news. And, uh, and I can't help but wonder how much of an impact this website is having on that. Um, as you can see, it's really, really hard to use. This is kind of the same problem that we see with most online news websites. We saw this with Yahoo a couple of months ago. Uh, basically, every single story is pulling for my attention here. And there's just an absolute enormous amount of text, presumably trying to pull my attention to, to click on that individual that individual article. Um, and it just is not working. So um, it looks like they tried to have some semblance of information hierarchy by making this <laughs> image quite big and this text quite big. Obviously your eyes are gonna go here first, but man, if this isn't really just totally over the top. So what we're gonna do is redesign it. We've got the style guide here. Um, we just sampled this from the colors in the sample image. And then we're gonna be using a font called Aileron, that's right. We're gonna use Aileron. Um, it's a very just simple sans font um, that I think won't distract too much from the overall uh, goal of the site, just kind of getting news into people's brains. Um, here we've got our user stories, as always, really straightforward. I want to read timely topical articles that are of interest to me. I need to know what the article is about. I need to know how long the article is to know whether or not I want to commit to reading it. Um, and perhaps I also need to know the author, but I didn't put that there. I also want to navigate to other topics in which I might be interested and search for articles. Search to if I have one particular thing I'm trying to learn more about, I should be able to find that on a place like CNN. So going to get stuck in and redesign this. And uh, I'm going to start with the navigation because it's kind of a beast. <laughs> and then just jump into the homepage here. So stick with me and we should be done in a couple of hours. It looks like CNN also fell into the trap of trying to do way too much in their navigation header. So instead of all that, I'm going to simplify it dramatically and break it into two smaller headers, uh, one that's more contextual and one that's clearly the global primary navigation. This might have been a mistake, but I wanted to feature search more in the primary navigation to just encourage users to explore other articles. Um, now this is mostly based on the way I like to browse news, I like to search for things of interest to me, um, and perhaps that's not how users tend to use CNN, but either way, I felt like it was a pretty clean treatment to apply here. Here I'm adding a list of popular topics as well as the mechanism for users to show all of the topics at once into the secondary navigation, but we'll actually come back to this at the end when I go through and polish everything up. And as you'd expect, the first treatment I'm applying to the body here is just emphasizing one post. Um, I think that most news sites kind of fall into the same paradigm where they try to make every article important and because they do that, nothing seems important to the user. And it's very difficult for me to decide what to, where to focus my attention and what to read. So in this iteration of the design, Clearly, this SpaceX article here is front and center. Um, the implication is that, hey, you should read this. This is our featured article. And if you want to browse some more other related articles, you can still do that.
And although you may disagree that having a financial incentive to get people to watch news isn't necessarily the best thing, uh, the reality is CNN does have an incentive to keep people browsing. And what better way to do that than to feature all of the most popular posts on the page, or on the site rather, from the past couple of days. If other people like it, you will probably like it too. It's very similar to the, the feeds that we get nowadays on TikTok and YouTube. Um, it's just crowdsourced information. If most people like it, you might like it too. So we feature trending posts immediately on the in the sidebar here. But note that it's still not di distracting from that main featured post that we're putting forward to the user. Instead of using explicit numbers here, I wanted to play around with using uh, the saturation of the color on the banner on the left to indicate to the user how popular something is. End up scrapping this, but it was a fun little experiment. Going back now and adding popular topics to the top of the list here, similar to popular articles in the right hand sidebar, um, having popular topics at the top allows people to focus in on what matters to them, which increases their likelihood of staying on the site. So the goal of the homepage hero really is to kind of capture the user's attention and get them engaged on the site to, to browse more. And then I figured secondarily to that, um, it might be important for a site like CNN to have kind of a persistent uh, area where they can feature a certain topic uh, that's currently trending or is kind of important to follow, like the current earthquake that happened in Turkey and Syria. Um, so having a nice little block to feature a specific topic after the homepage where we kind of hook users in, I think made a lot of sense here. And then keeping it simple, I'd imagine that the rest of the page could really just be a series of other topical blocks. Uh, we've got the war on Ukraine, uh, probably something about the US president or I don't know, some other interesting topics could just kind of exist in the folds below this featured section. And that way we have a lot of different avenues to potentially attract the user's attention. Um, and they're all organized in a way that clearly directs their attention towards those interesting topics, uh, instead of just being pl pasted right in front of your face above the fold on the, the homepage. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm a big fan of contextual call to actions that are designed to both help primarily help the user, but secondarily kind of boost engagement with the site. So I think having a way for users to opt into specific topics and get contextual updates on their progression, it would be a good way for CNN to just kind of establish a deeper relationship with their audience. Um, so having a little control here that enables them to do that, I think made a lot of sense. And then finally, just buttoning everything up with a nice neat footer and of course, adding some polish to the rest of the UI. Uh, probably gonna skip to the end here to save you having to watch all that. Okay, I think this is a much sexier CNN. And it's, in addition to being sexier, it's also more functional because when I hit this page, my eyes immediately go to somewhere that presumably they'd want them to go. And then there is other content that's relevant to me, potentially, kind of cascading off to the side and it's it's not pulling my attention too much but it is there assuming i want to interact with it in some way and uh i think that all things considered this kind of has basically the same functions as cnn today but with a lot more polish and uh consideration for the user now obviously you know, like I don't have any kind of financial incentives or marketers that are beating down my door telling me to put this call to action here or squeeze more articles here. Um, so I have the freedom to kind of design something with, you know, just the user in mind and nothing more, um, which is an advantage. Um, but yeah, I think all things considered, if someone wanted to, uh, to build a new site that would be good for the user, if, like if CNN really wanted to turn their ship around, a UI like this would work. No, perhaps that's just my ego talking. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, um, enjoy, I always enjoy the feedback, especially the negative feedback, because that's really where I learn the most. Uh, but yeah, hope you found some little nugget of design insight in this one. And I uh, hope you have a lovely week, folks. Take care.